What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ellis TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. We have a few stories today, some cool ones. We have some deals and then we have a story all about the Pixel Fold and what it's potentially going to look like, as well as a couple of questions. So if you have a question, a little light on the questions, leave it in the comments down below with the word question. I will answer it in tomorrow's video. With that said, let's jump into the tech news. Our first story of the day, again, a deal on, and it's all about the Galaxy Z Flip 3 and Fold 3, the Z Flip 3. Both of these deals are going on in Amazon and they're linked down below. This is going to be 75 bucks off the Z Flip 3, so you can get this for 925 with free one day delivery. And it's the 128 gig version and it doesn't come with any freebies it looks like, but still, if you don't need the freebies, and you just want to save some money, this is going to be a fantastic deal on that phone. But I think the better of the two deals and the better of the two phones, I feel like, too, is the Z Fold 3. So you can get the Z Fold 3 with S Pen case, and obviously it comes with the S Pen as well. So you get this for $15.99. Uh, it does come within one or two months. If you don't need the S Pen or the case, then you can get it as early as Thursday on here but uh still fantastic deal 1599 bucks that's 200 dollars off the cost of this phone and it is a really really nice phone it's my favorites of the folding phones at the moment um due to the fact that it's the newest as well uh and it's really one of the only ones i've personally played with uh, besides the flip i mean like just a straight up folding phone like this you definitely want to try this out great deal next story has to do with the pixel fold and what it's potentially going to look like and i know you guys are looking forward to this one now i'm looking forward to this phone i'm really wanting a phone a folding phone i do like this phone don't get me wrong but i want a folding phone where i absolutely love the cameras that i can always capture beautiful wonderful photos and the pixels can do that that's so i'm honestly a little bit more excited about that phone than i was for this phone after learning more about the galaxy z fold 3 so here's a potential first look at what the pixel fold will look like so this is coming from let's go digital and this is their mock-up of what this phone will end up hopefully i wouldn't mind it looking like this the pixel fold foldable smartphone with a 7.6 inch flexible screen is expected before the end of 2021 3d renders show possible design of the new pixel fold and just, just look at this photos a little bit more you can see the camera looks like they're thinking that it's going to look exactly what we get with the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro with that camera bar that goes all the way across and then the front of the display you get the uh, small skinny tall display with the camera cut out in the top left for that camera and on the bigger display it's in the top right we have the back and front look of this so like when you have it open if you just kind of look at it while it's completely open but you see the camera on the back on the left and then on the right you see the front small skinny display we then see a, uh, uh, a documentation of what Google put through for patents for the Pixel Fold and obviously what they've designed on Let's Go Digital doesn't look anything really close to that. Here's another one showing off some of the colors that we might see for this phone, playing along with what we get, are getting with the colors with the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro and playing with some of those wallpapers and what the design of the software would look like on the phone and what you could expect with that. Here's all of the phones, all the colors that they you know, are hoping or guessing might come out with this phone. I don't think we're gonna see multiple colors of this if Pixel does end up releasing the foldable phone. I think at most we're gonna see two, but ultimately I think it's only gonna be one. I think they wanna keep the cost low on this and creating less designs for this will help with that. Uh, if they do create more colors, I think it would be only if it was very, very successful. And then there's a closer look up at the back of the phone and also of the big open front display. So when design language, you're looking a lot like what you'd get with the Pixel, uh, Z, actually, <laughs> it's all these Pixel folding phones, uh, the Z Fold 2, because the Z Fold 3 has the camera that lies underneath it. And also the camera cutout for this in the top right. On the front one, it's in the top middle, whereas it'd be like off to the left with the Pixel phone. So I'm really hoping this phone comes out. I'm hoping it's a beast. I'm hoping that it's got great specs in it. I'm hoping it has the cameras that are in the same Pixel phones we've known to love. What about you guys? Is this a phone you'd potentially skip over? Maybe even after having the Z Fold 3, if it had much better cameras and 
who knows, better battery life and better specs and whatever else. Let me know what would make you flip, flip over to that fold from a Z Fold or even the phone that you have. Thanks for watching. Now let's get into the Q&A portion of the video and drop that. Lionel Sincerio says, when are they going to unveil the Pixel 6? Well, isn't that a timely question? I believe it's October 19th, it hasn't fully come out, but it's looking like October 9th will be the launch of the phone, and then you'd probably be able to uh, get it in your hands by the next week. Digital Death 187 says, any way of knowing what improvements we, got, we get out of the last Z Fold September update, Samsung just gives us general improvements, shake my head. I actually did a video on this, so if you go back, I put out three things that happened with the update. It was the RAM Plus, Let's see if I can remember everything. It was, uh, there was like a bug <laughs> that it created. And then the other one, I don't remember what the other one is, but no, they, there's really no full way unless they put it in that message. It's very difficult to find out what they did to improve anything. Sometimes the carriers will put out what the update was all about, but Samsung generally doesn't put that much information, unfortunately. And our last question also from Digital Death 187. I'm just curious, my Z Fold 3 always says 5G. My question is, other than speed test, how do we know if we're connected to 5G or LTE? I know the status bar should tell you, but mine always says 5G. Then you're on 5G. If it says 5G, you're on 5G. If you're on LTE, it'll say LTE. Mine will switch between 5G and LTE if I go into areas where there is definitely no 5G. So if you're seeing 5G all the time, you're connected to 5G all the time. Uh, go somewhere in the boonies or something, like somewhere you know there's probably no data, and you'll or slower data, and you'll notice things will change. But 5G is becoming very, very popular, especially if you live in a big city, you're gonna be in 5G probably all the time. And then depends on your carrier is. So I wouldn't be surprised if you've been on 5G the whole time, but it will switch, so you don't have anything to worry about. Thanks for the questions, guys. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the word question, and we'll see you down the road. Peace.